Okay, Richard, great to meet you. Thanks for coming out and thanks for uh, readjusting your lesson there. You can see your old swing on the left here. You know, there's so much flick and scoop through impact. You know, this right arm really looks like it's really throwing itself around your body and producing a lot of alteration of the face at impact, alteration of the of the club after you hit it, which is going to de-loft it and misdirect it. You know, you don't see many good players where the the hands are behind the ball at impact and opposite your your right leg as you're playing. Um, so you know, we got. I think you can fiddle around with the geometry of your swing and the look of your swing as much as you like. I don't think you've spent enough time getting the components timed correctly. And ultimately, what we want to do is create the right ingredients at impact. And in your case, that's not going to happen unless you isolate impact and then add a backswing to it. So I want to put, you put a lot of effort into your golf. Let's put some effort into what impact's going to feel like and look like. And I think your, your backswing will simplify itself as a result. The major premise is that we want to get you know, the, the, some lean in the hands, some lean in the shaft at impact here. We want to get this left leg to post or straighten by the hips turning, so the weight's very much on the left heel through impact. The left leg's very straight, the chest have opened, the hands are ahead, the right arm's kind of attached to you. So you need to get into impact at address and then just make a little backswing, like we, we did here, which is a lot further back than you think, and then get back to where you just came from. You know, so if you look at the difference in that, I mean, as I think inside you is a very good goal for trying to get out, I can tell you now, because you know, to change that in a few seconds and make it look like you know, you know what you're doing very quickly is great. I think you've lacked information and, and lacked direction in that information and all you've looked at is the, the beauty and the prettiness rather than the engine and the components. Um, so much better look through there. You know, and if you hit a lot of shots like that, you start hitting it solid, you stop flicking it through here, you get some lean in the shaft. All of a sudden, I think it's going to be a lot easier for you to add your backswing into it. You know, so you know the backswing would feel kind of like this, where you're going to feel like you hinge the club against a straight right arm, which produces this box that has been that common denominator we've talked about. And look how little distance the elbow's travelled. It's only gone from there to there. So it's got a lot less distance to cover to get back in sync. Let's map your old right elbow here. So it kind of starts here, and just watch it. Yeah, it's like a little cricket kind of backswing there, and then all of a sudden it starts collapsing and goes behind you, and your hands get behind your head. So it's kind of travelled right round here. So it's got all this distance to get back, to get back in sync. It can't. I don't, I don't care who you are. So therefore you start to throw your arms at it. You know, you look like you've got lots of lag there. And yet it doesn't translate into speed. And the reason it doesn't translate into speed is because the arms are so late. You have to lose all your lag, which is effectively what you do. So then the right arm just throws itself at the last minute because the only way you can time it, your legs stop, your left leg kind of, you can see over the camera here, doesn't do anything. Oop. You know, your left leg doesn't pose, the hips don't open. All that happens is the right arm just throws itself around your body there. So look at the face change. Massive face change in a very short time. So you're not getting any, any shaft lean, any compression on it. Um, and obviously it's going to misdirect it with the amount of hand action that thing's got. You know, so if we look at impact here on the left, and look at this backswing, this convoluted long backswing with the flick, compared to this wide, tight, athletic look. I mean, look how much torqued your body looks. You look 10 years younger. You know, it's amazing. Now watch. So now you've got lag, and it translates into shaft lean. Bang. Look at the difference in those two. And then through here, now your body can control the face a little better, the leg can post a little better, hips can keep moving. Very, very different there. So my advice is to spend a lot of time at impact, you know, a lot of time, you know, starting at impact, and then kind of working back from there. But remember, your backswing is going to feel like all you've done is just hinged your wrists against a straight right arm. This little brace I've got on your arm, um, you can buy them, but I'll tell you a little cheat would be to get a little child's water wing, I don't know, an armband I think they call them, um, get a little child's water wing, put it just near your elbow, inflated, and it stops your elbow buckling, does exactly the same thing for 50p rather than 
45 quid or whatever those things are. Um, so, you know, that's kind of the, kind of the plan there. If we look down the line just real quick, now all we've done is just defined your posture a little better. We've got your right hand more under the grip. I've given you a drill to do that. Um, you know, then here's impact. The drill was to put your left hand out of the side and get your right hand underneath. So it's a lot more under the grip. Remember, that helps really get that right wrist to set and load on the way back. So there's impact. There's your backswing. Hinging it against a straight right arm. Obviously, it'll go a little further back than that you know, in reality, but that's what I want you to do. Look at the right arm and the old one. Just totally cr crumpled, collapsed. And now your body has to wait for the right arm to catch up. In this case, you couldn't, do, you couldn't time it. Look at this one. Really lovely look there. Look how that right arm now really gets in front of that hip. You know, you, you want to do it. You can tell your body wants to do it. You can see it. So, yeah. So, and so the hands are more ahead because you've just half the distance the right elbow's travelled. <laughs> no. Yeah, do it and hit it hard, man. If you hit it hard, from what you're doing then, it'll get your body more, more athletic, more open. You know, I want this leg feeling like it's straight through the hip. You know, you've got to post that leg. You've got to get rid of that kind of leg stopping. You know, we, we, we've kind of had Trevor as a theme here. Let's just keep on that theme. Look at his left leg. You know, the left leg snaps. He goes onto his left heel, snaps the left leg, so the hip's open. Yeah. His right elbow. His right elbow's not tucked in. It's just hinged against what he feels like is a straight right arm. So the elbow's travelled from there to there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the elbow's travelled nowhere. So then the elbow's got a lot less distance to cover. Hands get a lot more ahead. You know, again, some common kind of denominators. Watch his right arm here on the way back. And we could watch a thousand guys. They all do the same thing. It's not a certain philosophy. There's his little box. You know, if we look at your your box. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, big time. Yeah, yours is having to. Your swing has to be slow right now because it's relying on timing. We want it to be short, fast, snappy, dynamic, because we want to create torque and dynamics. I'm not interested in what it looks like. I want to, as I say, look at the internal side of it. Get the components working more together and create more energy. Use physics more rather than you're using a lot of physical effort and not physics. So, you know, do some work at impact, as we said. Um, and then uh, work back from there. And your backswing, you can add to it by just hinging it against a straight right arm. But uh, great work there, man. Excellent job.